This morning, the heavy lift of selecting a jury to hear what's likely to become one of the most high-profile cases in history labors on. Donald Trump seated in a Manhattan courtroom, coming face to face for the first time with some of the men and women who could ultimately determine his fate. The former president is accused of falsifying his internal business records in order to bury evidence he had an adult film actress paid off just days before the 2016 election, an allegation he denies. Nothing like this has ever happened before. 200 New Yorkers summoned for jury duty, slowly questioned in batches on day one of trial, many raising hands to signal they could not be fair. Those were quickly dismissed. One woman overheard walking out of court saying, I just couldn't do it. Prospective jurors only hearing a brief outline of the 34 felony counts Mr. Trump faces as the judge ticked through a who's who of names from Trump world that could come up or serve as potential witnesses. The solemn, painstaking vetting process inside the courtroom, a contrast to what's been happening outside, with the presumptive GOP nominee railing against the timing of the state's case. I'm not in Georgia or Florida or North Carolina campaigning like I should be. It's perfect for the radical left Democrats. The judge publicly warning Mr. Trump his attendance at trial now mandatory. And if he doesn't show up, a warrant will be issued for his arrest but was noncommittal about granting Mr. Trump a day off next month to attend his son's high school graduation. At the same time, some evidentiary wins for the former president's team heading into trial, including the judge barring prosecutors from playing the infamous Access Hollywood tape for the jury, though they can reference what he said. So, Laura, you were there. There's an overflow courtroom, yes. so reporters that are covering it who are, can't be in the courtroom can see and witness what's happening inside the courtroom. What did you see? Right. We couldn't be in the courtroom yesterday because it's packed with prospective jurors. Eventually, we'll get in there. But yesterday, we can see the former president on a big jumbo screen. We can see his eyes. There's all this debate about whether he was sleeping or not. We can see his eyes are closed for long stretches. Do we know he's sleeping for sure? No. But there are other moments he's intently looking at the evidence. He's engaged. He's following along with the questionnaire that the jurors are talking about in court. So it's sort of a mixed bag in terms of what his his disposition was like there, but we could not see the actual jurors. We could only hear their voices. And we have a, a few more days, maybe a week or two more of jury selection. And you can see why it's taking so long because so many people are saying, I just can't do it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.